Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Molly here and thank you so much for joining me in another vlog. So this vlog is going to be really exciting because we are headed to Vancouver. I can't wait. We're finally going on our mini moon. Um, it's been like a month since our wedding and we haven't had a chance to go on like a honeymoon or a mini moon or anything because um, things have been so hectic for us in September. Like we had like three weddings to attend, a bachelorette, all this stuff. So um, we just didn't have a chance to get away. So we're finally heading out to Vancouver. It's gonna be so fun. Um, this is just our mini moon. We do plan on going on like a proper honeymoon next year. We were just like unsure about what was going on with the fourth wave and stuff like that. So we just thought it would be safe to travel within Canada. So I'm really, really excited. I haven't gone on a plane in like two years now. So this should be interesting and fun. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get out. Like I've been dying to go on vacation for so long. We haven't gone anywhere for two years and it's about time. Are you excited for our mini moon? I'm very excited. We're finally going somewhere. Are you happy? As soon as I recover from this hangover. I know, this guy for some reason thought it was a good idea to my drink. My buddy's 35th birthday. Yeah, you can drink, but you didn't have to get drunk like that the day before getting on a flight. Of course, you're gonna feel awful. Sometimes you just can't control those things, man. You just can, you just choose not to. You just. The lamos choose not to. I'm the lamo. I'm not a lamo. I'm a lamo. I would have been like, no, I'm not trying to throw up on the floor. <laughs> I'm also such a lightweight, so that explains a lot. Anyways, I'm so excited. And we are just grabbing some food right now at the airport. And then we're gonna get on our flight. Our first meal of the trip and Vikra's searching up the weather. This is gonna be raining all you know, week. This is our luck, eh? I think it is kind of rainy season this time of the year anyway, but... Blame Vancouver, get we it together. We weren't going to get around it, but... We made it onto the airplane. We're here. Good afternoon. We're ready. Welcome aboard Air Canada, member of the Star Alliance. We have officially landed in Vancouver. You happy? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that flight wasn't too bad. Watch two movies. And I was talking the entire day. But... I edited yeah, stuff, but... I felt so nauseous on the way down because like I felt like I was suffocating with my mask and it was like super turbulent so I feel really nauseous right now. I just want to get my bag and go to the hotel and eat something too. I'm kind of hungry so. <sighs> okay we made it to the hotel. We're staying at the Pinnacle Harbor front. We got um, a room upgrade because it's our honeymoon. You can't really see the view right now. Should do this video tomorrow morning. I should do the video tomorrow morning, but I'm just doing a quick one. Um, we have a really nice view of the harbor. And our room's like whatever, but I mean, we're only staying here, what, like two days or something? We're going to be out most of the day, so I don't really mind. The bed looks comfy. And this is the washroom. Nothing special, but we made it! I'm so happy. Also, um, the guy that I was sitting next to on the plane was so fucking weird. The entire time he was like eating, like I think he didn't want to wear his mask. So he like, he like ate the entire time he was on the plane for like four and a half hours. This man like ate and like watch movies or whatever. So he didn't have to wear his mask. And I was like, this is really weird. And he was like licking his fingers and stuff like that. And his like leg was over on my side. Um, like, I don't know. He was just like weird and gross. And so I'm kind of sad that I experienced that. But whatever, as long as you didn't give me COVID and we got here safe, that's all that matters. Okay, we're gonna go find some food now and also go to shoppers because um, they took my cleanser out of my bag and threw it out because it was over 125 mil or something, or over 100 mil, but I mean, the bottle was like pretty much almost empty, so it wasn't technically over 100 mil, whatever. Anyways, I need to go get a cleanser and I'm starving. We went to Nine Gales, um, we got meatballs, the baked potato and pizza. We already dug into it, obviously, but so yum. These are really, really good. This is good too, but these are better. First full day in Vancouver, you excited? I really hope it doesn't rain, but it says it's gonna stop thunderstorm today. It's it gonna looks be raining foggy all It's definitely gonna rain. There's <laughs> rain clouds everywhere. But our view looks really nice now that we can see it in the window. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys. Look at 
Look how beautiful. But look how foggy it looks. So pretty. The guy upgraded us. We were supposed to have a city view, but I told him it was our honeymoon. And he's like, okay, I'll give you guys um, a view of the harbor. So this is our view now. So pretty. And we are off for the day. Excited? Feeling less hungover than yesterday? Oh, I feel great. <laughs> I feel fantastic. Because Toronto time, this is like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah. So. I think, like, hopefully because we slept properly their time, like, we won't feel too much jet lag. I find, like, jet lag is worse when the time difference is, like, not that much. When it's, like, three hours or so, I find my jet lag is worse than if it was, like, I were to go to England and it was, like, an eight-hour time difference. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but... Um, I hope that because we went to sleep around 11 o'clock Vancouver time, um, we'll be okay in terms of like not feeling sleepy or whatever. But I'm really excited. We're going to go to get coffee in Gastown right now. Coffee and um, then we're going to go to Tacofino, I think. Yeah. Most likely if we can get seats there. Uh, and I'm so excited because I love tacos. So that is the adventure for today and hopefully we get to hit up Stanley Park. Um, but it's supposed to be like thunderstorming. I think that's what the weather said. So we'll see what happens as we get closer to like one, two o'clock. Unfortunate, it's gonna be raining all week and I'm really sad about that. Also, this is the fit. I feel like I look so hipstery. This is usually like not my style, but I'm gonna make it my style because I actually think this is really cute. Um, look at my butterfly hoodie. And Vikra and I are matching. Show your fit. <laughs> all right, that is all. Okay, I changed up my drink because the jalapeno margarita was too spicy for me. And we got our pork gringa tacos. These are the fish tacos, and then over here, Vikra got a lamb taco. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks good. The rain has begun, but we finished off at Taco Fino, and it was really good. Did you like it? It was fantastic. Such a good taco place. I really wish they had something like this in Toronto because those are like some of the best tacos I've ever had. Um, I also cried within the restaurant because I'm getting my period soon, and so embarrassing and I cry it in public and it's really annoying um, but my PMDD is acting up I know I've been feeling like super irritated lately I can feel it I think I noticed it you noticed it I always notice it <laughs> um, so that's annoying but whatever other than that we're having a great time um, that taco place is amazing if you ever come to Vancouver I highly recommend it and now we are gonna go find some cards and um, go to a coffee shop and just like grab coffee and play cards for a little bit because it's kind of raining outside. So, yeah. So Vikra and I walked past a furniture shop and we had to come in because we're old. And this is what older people do. This is what gets us excited. Look at this light. It is absolutely stunning. I want it. That couch is $21,000. Oh my god, I wish I could buy everything here. So we ended up at a coffee shop called Revolver and we bought these cards from like a gift shop that's nearby. And I played a three in Crazy Eights and the girl also played a three of plus. So we have some like bootleg set of cards. So Victor and I didn't take into consideration how much it was going to rain and like, well I mean like we did, but like not into our shoe option consideration. So we are now shopping for like waterproof boots because when we go hiking and when we walk around and stuff, it's just better to have them because our feet were getting wet earlier today when we were walking around in the rain. So that is what we're doing right now. How do you like them? I bought these ones. They're so cute. And I got them on sale. I love a good deal. I originally wasn't going to post or like vlog about this eclair, 
because I was like, whatever, I just want to eat something sweet. I don't really care to share it, but I have to share it because this is so good. It's from a place called Paul's. It was like $8 for this one eclair, but it was worth every penny. So yummy. You have to come here. That's the place. So good. The weather cleared up a little bit and this view is Stunning. Oh my gosh, we finally get to see the mountains. So pretty. So we had it up at dinner already. Um, I couldn't film anything beforehand because we were running late and I was like already filming content for my outfit. But I'm obsessed with my outfit. Look how cute. It's like a jumpsuit from Zara. It looks really ugly off, but on it looks really cute. And I feel like it's a very 60s, 70s vibe. I put these like flower earrings and this headband with it. I'm loving it. It's such a vibe. Uh, and we're at Cactus Club right now. And it has this beautiful view. Wh which Cactus Club is this? Uh, English Bay. The English Bay one. So it has this beautiful view of the bay. And, and the vibe here is so cute. It's like so nice and cozy. How did you feel? It was great, man. It was good, right? We finished a whole bottle of red wine, so definitely feeling a little bit tipsy. Um, but the food was amazing. The views were amazing too. I wish we kind of went for like sunset, but they didn't have any reservations available for that time. So unfortunately we couldn't, but the food was great. And very happy with dinner would definitely go there again i had the prawn spaghetti so good day two in vancouver how you feeling we are gonna try to make the best out of this day by going where it's down in the park so we were supposed to do that yesterday but because of the rain we didn't um and today was supposed to be raining a lot too but this morning when we checked the weather it said that it wasn't gonna start raining until like one two ish so we're hoping to be able to do like a ride through Stanley Park um, on bikes and then we're gonna go get what sushi? Yes, we're gonna get some bomb sushi later today. So and good. And we're more equipped for this weather. Yes. So it's so good, so good. I'm so excited. We're pointing to our feet because we got boots. Um, oh yeah, these are our boots. These are the boots we ended up buying and we're wearing them now because we have to. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for sushi because the seafood here is amazing. Like, I've been ordering a lot of seafood dishes and it's always so fresh. I love it. Anyways, let's hope our day goes well and that we don't really get rained on too much. So we picked up our bikes um, and now we are going to head to Stanley Park. We just stopped by a bakery though called, I don't know what it's called, mm, it's called Brecca Bakery and Cafe, that's what it looks like. Um, and we just picked up like some little pastries. I got a donut and I got something called a cruffle. I don't really know what it is but it looked good so I'm going to try it. Um, and yeah, and then we're going to ride around the park, should be fun. day. I'm dying. I'm so out of breath. Vicar wants to go see this like hollow tree thing. But we're walking uphill and I have absolutely no stamina or strength. I am so tired. So this tree better be the coolest fucking tree I've ever seen in the I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the tree, guys. 
Um, I don't think I would walk up that hike again, but it looks fucking dope. Are you happy you got to see your tree? Yeah. Vikra loves trees. This tree is a thousand years old. That's so cool. It is really cool. The amount of things I must have seen. So we finished up at Stanley Park and we're about to go get sushi. How was it? It was great. It was three, so three hours good. Of biking around. Yeah. So much to see. Yeah, it took us about three hours to fully bike around, um, but it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, there were so many things to see, honestly, and we got really good weather. Like, I was so happy about it that. Up, yeah. yeah, it was supposed to rain, but it actually started clearing up, so I'm really happy that the weather cleared up. Um, and we got to see all the views, and we didn't get rained on, and yeah, uh, definitely would check it out if you guys are ever coming to Vancouver. Um, a must see, and now we're gonna go get sushi. Just finished up sushi oh my gosh so good like it was delicious the sushi here is so fresh or the fish here is so fresh um, I would highly recommend that place the salmon the king salmon I think it was called it melted in your mouth like butter like it was so good uh, and now we're gonna go head out to get coffee and then we're gonna go back to the hotel all right we are off to dinner we're gonna go to Joey Forte yep and apparently it's a seafood wow. joint and it sounds really good so I can't wait to eat! view sadly and on top of that it's raining so we don't really get to see it as nicely as it should look but that's okay it was such a beautiful view and I'm so happy we stayed here it was so nice to wake up to this in the morning and we're off day three in Vancouver how you feeling this is uh, the zone I was excited for so looking forward to it yeah we're going up to Whistler right now Vicar just went and picked up the rental car um, really nice car like so spacious um, so yeah, we're driving up to Whistler. We're actually going, what, what's the other place first? We're going to Joffrey Lake first. Okay, so we're going to Joffrey Lake first. We're going to do a hike there. Um, and then we're going to go back down to Whistler and spend the night there. And then tomorrow's a spa day. I'm so excited. Uh, but right now we're going back to Brecca. Was that what it's called? Yeah. Brecca Cafe. Um, that's where we went in the morning yesterday to pick up like, just like some little snack snacks like pastries and things like that and it was so good like so good so um, we're going back there we're probably gonna pick up like some sandwiches and stuff just for the car ride because we're gonna go straight to Joffrey Lake um, and we don't want to stop anywhere to eat uh, just so we can pack more into the day and yeah that is the plan I'm so excited apparently the drive up to Whistler is supposed to be really I beautiful. I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, yeah, it's true. so much fog. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to get a good view on the way there. Maybe on the way back Thursday. Let's hope. I don't know. Hopefully the rain kind of clears foggy. up, but it's it's super rainy. So we'll see. It doesn't look very promising, but 
hopefully i don't know yesterday was supposed to be raining like a ton and we lucked out and it didn't rain all day and the weather was beautiful and we got to do stanley park so let's just hope maybe the universe is on our side and things clear up right it's not looking like it. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> We did a pit stop at McDonald's to like take a pee break and this is the view from the McDonald's. That is insane. How are you enjoying our drive so far? Fantastic. It's so beautiful. I hope we catch a little bit better weather on the way back though. Same. It's like pretty foggy. I mean now that we're kind of closer to Joffrey Lake things are kind of starting to clear up. Like it's not as foggy as it was in Vancouver. Uh, so you get to see the mountains a lot better, but still it could be clearer and kind of sad that it's as foggy as it is and that it's raining, but oh well, better than nothing. <laughs> All right, we made it to Joffrey Lake. Joffrey you, Lake, yeah. Are you so, excited? Yeah, so what you're gonna see first is there's gonna be a short little walk till we get to the bottom lake or the lower lake, which is pretty cool. And then um, and then we do about a two hour hike to the middle lake, which is even better. And then there's a sh small hike above that to the small lake. And basically this mountain has an ice cap at the top and that melts and it basically travels down to all these different lakes. And we can watch it travel down too. You'll see like uh, little waterfalls that all lead into the to these different lakes. And um, yeah, I think as, as you move up to each lake, they look better and better and the views look better and better. And even on the way to each lake, the views look nice. Um, so it should be dope. Right. And like, yo, how many hikes, yo, how many hikes can you do a two hour hike and see like three, three different lakes? lakes? You don't get that that often, so it's pretty dope. Well, there you have it, folks. You don't need a tour guide. You got Vikra. Just play our YouTube video in the background as you walk through here. <laughs> but I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. right around the corner from the second lake and oh fuck and I am so out of breath I can't breathe like it was so much uphill Vicar was like yeah there's gonna be some uphill it was all uphill and I cannot breathe um I'm gonna get my period next week so I've been feeling really like agitated and annoyed and like anxious and me breathing really heavy um made cut coming up worse for my anxiety because it almost felt like I was getting an anxiety attack and then I did get an anxiety attack or like a mini panic attack I cried halfway through the hike um and then once I cried it out I was pretty okay but that was bad that was pretty bad um but we made it to the second lake and I'm really happy and I have to show you guys because it's beautiful Thanks for waiting for me. Poor guy. Had to wait for me the entire way. But we made it.